Noel had his heart in the grips of Zesty Finocchio, just great. But you know what he didn't have? The cojones, the balls. Noel has balls of steel. Even though people make fun of him by looking so girly and stuff like that, he's got longer lashes than most of the girls in the show. I, I say all the girls in the show. He's got magnificent cojones. And he puts that shit on the table and he says, what are you gonna do about it, pussy? And he gets away with it. Peak talker, peak bluffing, and it's worked out. We're going to a new arc. Our party has expanded. Let's see what's gonna happen today's reaction. The art style has changed significantly. What the hell's happening? Inspector. Hey, it's Wilhelm. What's going on, Wilhelm Jenkins? Yo. Yo, this is Sephiroth in the future. This is how Sephiroth ages into his 70s, 80s. You know what the most, co like, this most, like, pompous, most pretentious thing you could do when you're a wine connoisseur? There's a TikTok page I watch of this guy, and, and, a, and a service person shows up and pours the bottle, just a little bit first, into the wine cup. And then he does this. He takes the cup. He then goes like this. He puts his ear into the cup. And I'm like, what the fuck are you listening to? The wine gods? If you hear bubbles popping, it's bad. It's bad quality of wine. So you're hearing for, is there any bubbles popping or not? Then they put that down, they go like this, and then they drink it, and they go, and then they shake the server's hand. And then the server is just like a fucking random dude that's probably getting paid minimum wage, and he's like, another pretentious millionaire just acting as if he knows shit about wine, and then he's like, okay, I'll shake your hand, buddy, and then pours the rest of the wine in the cup. That, that's it. it. It's just... It's just so fucking funny to me. Okay. So we have like a winery business. Yeah. yeah, why you here? Our grandfather. That's a bug person. Wait, isn't that our grandfather's axe? That weapon is very familiar to what our grandfather used to use. Oh shit, it's the same guy that killed our grandpa. Oh. The weapon? Yes, he took the weapon. For the void, somewhere else. The supreme dragon. Who is this? Yo, the world building is getting crazy in Talker now. Like, so many different, like, characters and important factions being mentioned, but... Supreme dragon, but the lord has disappeared into the void. Invade by instinct. It's a sentient one. Valiant? Okay, again, the world building is going crazy right now. Valiant are a group of 10 powerful lords with, in, with abyssal death ratings of 13. Abyssal rating, obviously, right? That's the kind of power scaling system. 13 is like one of the highest I think we've seen so far. Valiant, 10 top tier lords. Holy shit. Three nations gone from one lord. He got lucky because Grandpa was there. Okay. This is cool though. Because now there's like an objective, there's like a final goal, right? The lord that defeated our grandfather stole our battle axe and is roaming around. And he's kind of like sentient in the sense that he is not just controlled by these instincts. He's just roaming around. Oh, he felt that. He felt that. Boom. Does he? Okay. Oh, close ties. Yo, he might as well be our new grandfather then. I don't know if that's... The same thing, but he's old. He, he could be our grand uncle then. Alright. We're doing well. 
Seeker exam. Wait, were, 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 we, were we not seekers? You're eligible to take the seeker exam. What the fuck were we so far? Just random... Oh, this is the past? Oh, this is a flash... Oh, I thought it's happening right now. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Okay, this is a flashback. I, I thought this is like present time. Okay, okay, it's flashback. And now present time. Yep, now present time. Here we go. Na,ほんまに大丈夫なんじゃな？ああ、難しい質問はない。彼は死の答えが。俺のタックスのグランパが。俺のタックスのグランパが。俺のタックスのグランパが。俺のタックスのグランパが。俺のタックスのグランパが
holy shit again the world building right now all the different regalias man so sword dragon got a tiger and uh, what the hell is that mountain thing i don't know goat dinner is the funniest name so far I see, but there's no way. Nah, nah, nah. Grandpa's not doing this to, you know... Ah, what's the word? Push us away. I think he's instigating. I think he's trying to, like, encourage us to do something crazy. Because there's no way he's actually just going to kick us out, knowing who Noel is and the potential he has. There's gotta be a way around. Not yet. Grandpa? Brandon? There he is. Brandon. Yo, does that mean that old man here? Like has schizo delusions of Brandon because of the bond that they shared back in the day? Is, is, is this like trauma and like he can't get away from this in his head or is this like a one-off thing to just kind of do a callback to grandfather i don't know this this looks kind of like important if you're recollecting memories of the past and he's not like you know leaving peacefully uh, Mm, okay, okay. Or scheming. I agree. What should we do? Um. Well, if you want to get to the regalia system, there's only fixed positions. Here's our plan. We're going to do research and figure out where areas of instabilities are and which parties of the regalia will go to. We will carefully observe and hope for the demise of one regalia party and then we swoop in we kill steel we take all the credits we have now gotten recognition beyond any starter clan a position for the regalia has opened up too yes we should we should do that yes <laughs> Okay. Endless drinking water? I mean, shit. These monster systems, it's, it's scary, but you got unlimited water from defeating this. This relationship actually ain't too bad. This is a great benefit to society. Okay. Yo, today's episode has so much world building. Let's skip the clan. No, no, no. Skip that shit. We go to Regalia immediately. Half a year? Talking big. Alright. Title drop. Title drop? Is this a title drop? It's the closest thing to a title drop, I think. No, not in the title drop. The title drop is... The talker will be the biggest clan assumption. The talker's not even mentioned here. This isn't title drop. True. True. Zeke Glaze. <laughs> we need some fake news. We need to hype ourselves up, just like how Zeke's being glazed. We should fight Zeke. <laughs> no. I don't know. Like, Zeke's being mentioned a lot today. There was also that one scene where Koga was shown immediately after showing Zeke from the Supreme Dragon. Zeke is now being glazed in the newspapers and he's saying we need to create a fucking commotion. <laughs> Do we go start a fight with Zeke and just die? <laughs> okay. Nice serpent aura. Oh. This thing looks terrifying. I remember... 
I forget what they're called, but these little people, it's like a separate race where they're, they're, they're basically responsible for the whole secret power scaling system stuff, right? Her eyes are terrifying. Look at those eyes. Strategist, okay. では、我、何時の新たな扉を開かん。何時新たな力を打ちなる海に向けよ。暗き水面を照らすは英知の光なり。我、何時の扉を開かん。戦術か。We're B ranked now. Okay, it's just Fasting, you know, our brain powers, we can just assess everything, we can, you know, control, you know, plan out, say whatever we want, just faster. Okay. Not- Oh, Zeke! It's him again! He's everywhere today. EX- 3 EX rank. King Slayer, oh my god, bro. Today's world building is crazy. The whole Valiant, you know, the demon whatever rating 13 shit. The diff all the different regalias, right? What it means to slay one of those crazy lords and then harvest them and then the crazy like scientific progression for mankind. And now we got like the three EX rank seekers, most likely leaders of these, you know, regalias parties. Pandemonium, Leo. Wait, what? Zeke is not the leader? Master of Supreme Dragon, Victor Krauser. Is Victor actually better than Zeke? They've been glazing Zeke. They've been glazing Zeke, Zeke, Zeke. This now. The hell? I, I thought Zeke was Supreme Dragon, and that's it. Nah, there's a dude higher. He's a master. Victor, okay. Mm. We did. I'm gonna play them? Mm. Yeah, this is kind of crazy that, you know, again, someone on Zeke's level, one of the three EX rank seekers, some basically the hero of this place, talking to a B rank like this. <sighs> what a good offer. I'll probably join, but we got different ambitions. We're not trying to join an established thing. We're trying to disrupt the status quo, make our own clan that's gonna just be number one. Nope. There it is. Even women? <laughs> oh, are you sure? We really want to do this right now? Victor is aging. Okay, so the beginning one, the Master Supreme Dragon may not be that hype, but you never know. He could be just like a super old person too. That's not in the prime of his life, but still is super broken. Oh, yo, where's Leo at? Leo also swordsman? Megane? No, 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 this is Zeke. Bound to die. Looking at Leo, like, he's some sort of like beast person. Like, he's got like these claw like things going on. How the hell did Noel just get out of this? Making Zeke look bad. B rank dude. Getting recruited by like the hero of this place, basically the strongest in the empire. The fuck? And like his dude, his reaction to this was so like intense. He got so upset here. It's like, you know I can't do that if I fight Leo, one of us gonna die. Huh. Alright. 
Ooh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The second best. <laughs> You fucking idiot. Oh, this is the wrong. You thought it was the worst time possible. He just feels insecure because of compared to Leo. And now you're gonna call him second best? Oh, shit! Oh. Glaze. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Leo, you know? Leo! <laughs> Damn, soloed more lords. Okay, this Leo guy is actually getting super hype. Rose out there soloing lords. I don't think he died. I don't think he died there. <laughs> what was that? He just did one straw and then he just off to the fucking sky like Team Rocket. <laughs> yeah. He's got ego issues. I thought someone like him, so strong, wouldn't really care and you'd be like a pretty chill, I don't know. Well, someone that powerful, that's constantly being compared, yeah. Insecurity issues, I'm sure it's gonna get anybody. His weakness is the whole like insecurity about himself and people comparing him to Leo. We can use that. Okay. Bro was actually just here. <laughs> Wait, so when him and... Zeke went away. He secretly the Spider-Man to just hide up there to see this one interaction and confirm this. Okay, sure. Oh, it's our friend. Again? She really is way better. I thought that armor was OP. That's not Arma at all. Yeah, stick to what you're good at. Oh, 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 Man, these elves are just very accurate to lore in this show, huh? All so flat. Okay. Actual furry. Oh, shit. Another you shall looking dude. These blonde pretty boys, bro, and their swordsmen. Leon Frederick. Leon Frederick. Okay, he seems pretty humble and chill. Is that us? Oh, we're the weirdos. Yo! These official secret clans are like we're not even a clan, we're a party of just ragtag misfits. Dude, people are talking about us. P we're living rent free in their heads. Even Zeke, bro. So many people are just glazing. No, that's not Leo. This is the Wing Knights, not Pandemonium. Two separate, entirely different clans. And Leo was shown to be a person that uses more melee, brutal attacks with his claws rather than being a knight. Not wrong. Thank you, Loki, uh, for the four months, man. I appreciate that, but, like, not wrong. This is lore accurate. It's a bit exaggerated. Those, the, the, the teammate, they deserved it, right? They took our money, went to Gamba Addict. No, no, no. They deserved that shit, but this is... Also true. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I like Leon. Okay, Leon is... I mean, he, he, he lives up to the white knight look aesthetic. Handsome, blonde, hero type. That's very righteous. Yeah, okay, base. Leon 
It's very true. Noel and Loki got her informant again. That. <laughs> what a character. Without Moha. That nose. Oh my god, he could penetrate with that nose. Ain't no way you said he smells your fear. Hey, it's him, Leon. Oh no, don't do anything to Leon. They seem like nice people, bro. Okay. Am I going to take them down? What's the goal here? Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna feel bad. Leon seems like an actually good person. Like, he's being set up to just get done dirty by Noel now. Oh no. Actually, here's the one thing. What if he's a piece of shit? What if we're falling for it? I would have never gone so smoothly. Fine, we're solo. What if he doesn't mean that? What if he's a piece of shit and he's like, <laughs> these fucking idiots. I'm tricking them all with my hero, you know, act. If we get to that point, then I won't feel bad. Really? You view everyone like that? Everyone's got a face underneath. Noel too. Oh god, Leon. I hope Leon is shitty, man. And that's today's episode of Talker, and I think this is one of the best episodes. Personally for me, I love these kind of world building. It really hypes up the show beyond what we've known so far. Because like, yeah, the past episodes has been, you know, self-contained stories and recruiting members, but we didn't really get to know about this world like we did in the first couple episodes. The first couple episodes, you know, kind of taught us the whole secret system and the, you know, um, the different ways that like evil people, monsters appear. But this episode is just world building out the wazoo. Every regalia seeker clan mentioned the top, you know, masters, right? There's three EX rankers and Zeke, you know, one of the strongest in the empire. He has some ego issues, insecurities, deep-rooted ties with Leon, sorry, Leo, who supposedly soloed more lords than, you know, Zeke has, and he's pandemonium, like, it's sounding really hype. Now, this Leon guy, I will feel so bad if he's not shitty. If he truly is just like a white knight cut, like, through and throughout, and he's not like some sort of trashy guy that's hiding beneath this white knight armor, I'm gonna feel bad when Noel claps him, but uh, we'll see what happens. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.